Hi everybody, I'm John Lotch, the Venice Lot Assessment Personnel, and I'm here with my good friend Greg Rousseau, defensive end with Buffalo's favorite football team. They play in Orchard Park, they wear red and blue, you know who we're talking about. Yep. And Greg is here to participate in the very first Chavetta's 15, 15 and 15, 15 Challenge. Now Greg, what is a 15 and 15 Challenge? Well, I'm going to tell you. You are going to try to attempt to complete 15 skill testing challenges in only 15 minutes. Got you. You ready to go? Yes, sir. Think we can do it? Let's do it. I know you can. All yep. right. Our very first skill test here. Not going to be any beer in it. Okay. But good. we're going to see how many ping pong balls you can bounce or toss into okay. these cups okay. in just one minute. So I'll have you stand over here at the end of the table. Got we you. have our, our ping pong balls ready to go. Yep. And we got our timer ready. All right, Greg, start now. Got you. Okay, we're going to get going here. Okay. Come on, man. I have faith. There we go. There's our one. first one. Mr. Oh, now he's on fire. Hot from the outside. Okay. Now, I know you, uh, you played high school football. Did you play basketball, too, when you, when uh, you were there? Yeah, a little it bit. Looks like you, it looks like you did. You're a little bit, but I like them. I'm trying. Hot from the outside. That's my good, that's my good one right there. Yeah, that's the, that's the cup for me. When I run out of those. I'm going to take some out because this, this is a good cup for him. And we got about 15 seconds left. He's just burying him, this guy. I am not going to take him on a basketball. Look at him go. Five, four. Three, two, one. Damn. All right, from the outside. Man, look at how many we got here. Four, six, uh, nine, 10, 13, 15. 15, it's good for the 15 and 15 yeah. challenge. It matches you made up. 15, it matches let's up. go, let's do it. come on. All right, great. Yeah. Now we're moving on here. So we all know everybody that Chivetta's is famous for their mouthwatering, delicious barbecue chicken dinners, mm -hmm. but also they're, you know, they're Corn cornbread is very highly regarded. Yeah. So I love the cornbread. See, you, you like the cornbread? I love the cornbread. That's good. I'm going to see, you know, this is very going to be kind of difficult because yeah. not only are you going to have to stack up cornbread, mm -hmm. but you're also going to have to control yourself so you don't eat, eat the, the cornbread while yeah. stacking the cornbread. Self-control. At least, <laughs> at least not until we're done with the 15. That'll yeah. be, that'll be your, uh, your reward. Okay, cool. <laughs> so we've got our cornbread here. And we're going to see uh, how, how, high, you can, can how high you can stack it up here okay. in one minute. Uh, you know, we're going to give it a go. Let me know Our time is ready. And go! It's a good start. Man, I might jump on some of that. I like how you're getting the angles right. You want to yeah. make sure it doesn't tip. Yeah. Kind of like Tetris. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Tetris. You're not going side to side though. You're gonna make it. Oh, here Damn. we go. It's about <laughs> <laughs> It's already starting to tip. That's because, you know, ladies and gentlemen, these are not, you know, dry, hard bricks of <laughs> cornbread. These are delicious, moist, wonderful pieces of cornbread that I can barely contain myself from grabbing. 
and they're sticking up there. You got about 13 seconds left. Time's running out. Oh, kind of tipping. It's like the leading tower of court, right? <laughs> <laughs> I like if Greg only uses one hand. He really, con he really controls himself. And time! That's it! Thanks. Well done! Man, what look at that? that. You got about nine pieces up there. Yeah. I just couldn't get him to stand still. <laughs> you did fantastic. You could, you could take a quick bite. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> Greg. Awesome job, you got nine pieces. You, mm -hmm. Nothing fell down. I, yeah. I thought for sure they, yeah. they were going down. I tried to balance them out. I tried to put, so you know some of them are kind of like sloped? Yeah. I tried to kind of like put the sloped ones and, and had the opposite slope on the next one, but it caught up with me though. <laughs> Man, what did you take architecture in school? A little what did bit. You, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> what did you do there? Just a little bit. All right, for our next challenge, Greg, you know, there's no better way to get to know somebody than to, you know, Watch them fold their laundry. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're going to do. Our team member is going to bring a basket of laundry okay. here. And we're going to see uh, just uh, how well you can fold laundry in a minute. And I'm just going to ask some questions. We're going to talk and get to know a little bit about yourself. Okay. Ready? Yep. Go! Starting with the shirt. That's the easy way to go. Yep. Wait till we get to the socks. Oh, man. That's what's going to be. That's what's really going to happen. If you had your choice, would you rather travel back to the past or travel to the future? I'd travel back to the past because I wouldn't want to spoil anything that's going to happen in the future. I like that. Everything's going to be a surprise. So if yeah. you did travel back to the past, what one person would you want to go back and talk to? Probably Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson? Yeah, one of my favorite artists. Okay. I like, it. I like this jersey. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> I kind of yeah, I kind of just want to just pick his brain and see if he knew that he was going to be that successful. Is this going to be like uh, like more famous uh, Michael Jackson or like young Michael? Young Michael Jackson. Oh, okay, young, but like off like, the wall. Yeah, like off the wall, <laughs> Thriller. That's not Michael Jackson. Yeah, like. don't like that. So okay, so this is how you do the socks. Yeah, that's this how I do my nice socks. Yeah. Roll off the top. This is the perfect socks folding method. At time. Time. Thank goodness, because I know you did not want to fold that. <laughs> it's that one. <laughs> we, this was not that bad. That, that one. Was that one. It's That's, always the fitted sheets. The that fitted get, sheets that, are that crazy. Gets you. Yeah. All right. Well, you did a great. You did a great job. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just finish this one because I got. He wants to get this one yeah, done. I got OCD. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There you go. You must have been a, a great uh, roommate in college when when you went to the U, right? You always had your yeah. bed straight every day. Yeah, I did. <laughs> That's it's like the best way to start the day. Absolutely. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the man who knows how to wrap. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, speaking of wrapping, our next challenge is one that's, uh, that's very uh, apropos. We've got the holiday season coming up, so you're yeah. going to be wrapping gifts, gifts. for somebody. Yeah. So we're going to see um, just how well you can do wrapping some oddly shaped gifts here. So we, we got some wrapping paper and some bows here for you. Okay. And we're going to see how many of these items you can wrap mm. in just 60 seconds. So we're going to start, obviously, football. with our NFL football. All right, and the timer's ready. Here's your ball. I think you right. want to get yourself ready to go? I'll, a little I'll, bit, yeah. You got to get it ready. Yeah. Okay. And go! There's some other items here to wrap for you. But we'll get this football done first. All right, you're very good. So since we're starting with football, let me ask you some kind of football-related questions. Yep. Do you have any uh, game day rituals or superstitions that you follow? For you? Uh... Before the game, I'd say I always eat toast. Toast? toast. Yeah, before every year. Just yeah. dry? You put anything on it? Either like jelly, either jelly or honey. Jelly or honey? Yeah. Good way to start it off. Very good. What about yeah. post game? What do you like to eat after after the game? Um, usually wings. Yeah. Nice. And a post game, another post game tradition for me is I get in the sauna. Oh. I get in the sauna after the game. So. That's that's the way to do it. That's yeah. the way to do it. What do your teammates or friends call you? What is your nickname for them? Uh, G. G is one. That's G. like real popular. That's probably the go-to. Yeah. G Money. G Money. Groot is definitely, that's one of the ones that are like, that's one of the more, more popular nicknames I got. Yeah. And everybody else calls me Greg. Because my real name my real name is Gregory. Right. People just call me Greg. That's easy. I just put a bow on that one. <laughs> that's right. It's Pete. 
Get that bow on Ooh. there. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> and that's what it's all about. Look at that. I know it's not the prettiest, but. <laughs> well, you know what? We aren't getting giving style points anyway, go. so yeah. great job. There's our, there's our wrapped football. There we go. Way to go. Someone's Time's up. Happy. Excellent job. Yes, sir. All right, here we go. We're moving on. So, Greg, I don't know if you know, Chevettes is coming up on their 70th anniversary this year. It's mm -hmm. a big anniversary for them. They were established in 1954. So, for this game, we're going to show you some items. Okay. And you're going to tell me, I'm going to show you the item, you're going to tell me if it was created before or after 1954. So, Got you're going to take that one here. All right, and we're going to get going, and I'm going to start you with this one here. It's a mm. cell phone. The cellular phone was invented before or after. Oh, after. You're correct, 1973 yep. for that one. All right, and we've got the air conditioner. Very important when you mm. live in Florida all your life. I want to say before. You're correct, 1906. Yeah. <laughs> the instant camera, the Polaroid instant camera. Instant, so the one that prints the picture out and yep. you shake it? Yeah, you know it. Mm, before? Before, 1948, okay. yes, that's right. The Walkman portable music player was invented. After? After, yeah, 1979 for the, for the Walkman. The barbecue grill. Before? Before. 1952, just two years yeah. before yeah. Shredder. That yeah, makes it, sense. Yeah, it couldn't, they it made couldn't the grill, be after. They yeah. couldn't be after. Yeah, there's no way. <laughs> made the grill first, and then Shevet has decided yeah. to put it to good use. Yeah. Okay, the first solar-powered home. After. No, surprisingly, 1930. Mm. The first solar power home. Plot twist. I didn't expect that. I did not Who expect knew that. Who knew that that's the case? And lastly, our football stadium. They used to call the Ralph yep. was built before or after 1954. I feel like that's tight, but I got to say after. 1973, you yep. are correct. For sure. It's a good thing you know that one. Know, you got to go, right? go back there. I know. I should know that one. <laughs> Way to go. All right. You did a great job with that one. Sure. We'll take that one for you. For and sure. we're going to be moving on now. All right, Greg, so we know that football requires speed, strength, agility, coordination. We're going to use at least a couple of those for our yep. next challenge. We're going to bring in our, our eggs, and you're going to see how many eggs you can move from this bowl to this bowl using only these barbecue tongs. And you got to see if we can get them all in there okay. in a minute. You ready? Yeah. Go! Look at this. With the soft hands. Of Greg Rousseau. He's making it look easy. You can only use them one hand, too. I know, right? This is too, boy, I'll tell you, next time I want to have you do this blindfolded. That would be a good challenge, I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> that would be good. All right, well that's, that tells me right now we're gonna have to use a blindfold later on. <laughs> I'm all for it. Just you wait, look at this. Time's running down. Three, two, one, and he got it. Go. Easy money. Way to go, man. That, you, you know what it's. You know yes, what sir. it's. Up. Come on, sir. Egg challenge completed. Man, I don't know about you. After that one, uh, you, you got to be a little, a little tired here. Let's, a little take, break. let's take a little break. Uh, sure. we, we need, uh, we need some of those delicious, fantastic, mouth-watering Chevetta's salt and vinegar barbecue chips. Mm -hmm. Let's get some of them. Show the people what they are. Can you know you can. Pick these up, people. You know, your local yeah. grocers. Let's get some of those. These are great. And we're right. And we're gonna uh, just uh, relax here. We got some water. Mm -hmm. got a minute, we got a minute for this too, or this is normal. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, we have a minute for this. They're they're timing it down, but uh, okay. it's, it gives us a little bit of a break before we get into the real hard. Mm -hmm. And I've been talking for a good ten, so I need some water. Yeah. <laughs> I feel that. This is good stuff. Mm -hmm. The people got to know. This is stuff you got to get. Folks, go to your store. Get some of these delicious chips. You won't, you won't be sorry. 
Right. Yeah, I love the bag too with the mm -hmm. throwback picks in it. It's pretty cool. People know. Yeah. People in our area, they know Chevetta's. Mm -hmm. They know that look. Mm -hmm. They know it's quality. They're gonna go get it. Classic. This is all right. All right. <laughs> Enough of that nonsense. Let's get going. Let's do it. To our next break here. All right, so now we're gonna we're gonna get back to the action here. Now mm -hmm. that you got so you got filled up here, here. Yep, I'm full. We're ready to do a little physical activity. Okay. Right, we're gonna see how how long you can uh, hula hoop. You can uh, hula this hoop around there. We're gonna move you over here where you have a little space, and uh, you're gonna get that on there. We're gonna start our timer, and we're gonna get you going and see how well you can do the the hula hooping. Okay. I, have hey, I haven't done this in so long, so. But Just I know, know. You, you can yeah. do it. All right. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to think of how it works. All right. You gotta keep those hits moving. Take your money maker. There you go. <laughs> See, he's got it. Oh, that, okay, okay. I'm not, hey, going, I'm not as bad as I thought. Show him how it's doing. You're gonna... It's all coming back. It's like riding a bike. Yep. There you go. You just get those hits going. Look at him. Come on. He's ready to go. This is an athlete, ladies and gentlemen. I try, I try. <laughs> Let me take my shoes off. Hold on. That's what we need to do. Dang, that didn't help. You could have kept the shoes off. <laughs> we've got about 20 seconds left, and you're doing all right. Yeah, you can even like do what they do with, with the hula hoop with your arms. <laughs> I think it really, I think it's all about the spin. The, the I first, think you're right, you get, uh, get it going, right? Yeah, there it is, there it is. You gotta go, it's sort of like that up and down motion there, mm -hmm. is what you got. And one, and time! Wow, that was fantastic. That's time. I should have had you do that before the break. That's it, right? that's working. Now we're gonna get to our real football action. Something okay. that, that you know, no, you're not sacking me. It's my ballpark. <laughs> so, so, so relax here. Not, I was not excited for that. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah, no, we're gonna be uh, getting on our field here. We're gonna see how many field goals you can make with our little finger flick field goals here, uh, right here on our, on our field. See how many you can make in a minute. We got them right here. Uh, I'm sure you've you've done this before in, in, in your in your past, right? Something like that. Okay. So we're gonna see how many we can do. Let's get our timer ready. And go! Alright. Dang, <laughs> I was gonna get start. Is that good? <laughs> That's that, it. Well, well you, yeah, so what you do is get it on the field like that. I'm gonna have, to have Tyler Bass teach you how to do this. You get it on the field like that, hold and kick. Okay. Oh, there you go. Now we now we're getting it. That was that was that's definitely it. it. Yeah, that was it. that was definitely a good one. A little wide wide left. Wide left. Also wide left. You're shanking it, but that's okay. That's it. That was it. That was totally good. Thank goodness we have our staff here that's helping us replenish our footballs. Our timer's looking good. We're at about 10 seconds. Just, oh, I'll give it to you. I think I want just over the, over oh, the post, oh, so oh, that's right. good. And three, two, that's it. All right. Well done. I think we made about five yeah, I think so. in there. So that was yeah. that was that was well yeah, done. Not you bad. Go back and tell your kicker that you that you can take over any time yeah. now. I got it handled. <laughs> All right, Greg. We're gonna move over here. Our next our next little challenge. So your uh, your quarterback's done something like this. We've seen mm -hmm. what your quarterback can do. Now we want to see what you can do here. So it's time to show us your take on the Buffalo football logo, the logo that's on your helmet. Hmm. I want you to take a marker here, and we're going to start our timer. And that's we're gonna really see, hard. <laughs> we're going to see how well you remember the logo on your helmet, <laughs> and we're going to start our timer now. Oh, man. Dang, that's hard. All right. Don't worry, even if it's terrible, they'll still make t-shirts out of it, apparently. <laughs> this is gonna be real bad, just so y'all know. <laughs> Those are supposed to be legs. All right, that's per that's good, I like it. Well, the legs are kind of slanted. It's already better than your quarterbacks, I'm sorry. 
Really? Yes. Gotta have, gotta have the red streak. I think there's two, but I'm, okay. not, I'm not even sure. That's OC, good. OCD. Man. Yeah, you can't have it. Can't have any streaks on there. All right. Anything else? You gonna you gonna finish that off? All right. We got about seven seconds after. You always coloring it in. Look at that. See, this is. All right, and time. Well done. All right. There you go. So we're going to save that. We're going to take a picture of that one so we can put that on our bad. own t-shirts. Can I finish? Can I, can I color this in too? <laughs> yeah, color it in, man. All right, cool. That, see, look at this. We, we are precise with our coloring. Mm-hmm. There we go. All right. Well done. Man, you got yeah, to, you, I kind of want to see the logo. Now. <laughs> got it somewhere? We'll get we'll get our we'll get our team. You should have it. Got it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna get back here. <laughs> Greg, uh, that was well done. That was fantastic. All right, so it's, uh, as I said, the holiday season's coming up, mm -hmm. uh, and I, you know, uh, so you know, with that, you know, we always do a little bit of decorating, decorating around the house. So we're gonna see how well you can do by untangling. This giant ball of Christmas lights. This I is what happens. That. They, always, they always get jumbled and tangled they really when do. you put them away. So now you're going to have to untangle those in a minute. Okay. Let's see how far you can get, and we'll talk a little while you're doing it. Ready? Go! Very good. So, uh, Greg, what is your uh, favorite Christmas cookie? What do you What do you like to eat? What's your favorite? I don't know if it's a Christmas cookie, but I like Snickerdoodle. Snickerdoodles, yeah. yeah. So it's absolutely apply for Christmas time. Okay. And uh, other than Rudolph, can you name Santa's other reindeer? No, I can't. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> I'm not can lie. you name one? Um, Scarlet? I, I, I like it. I doubt I, it. I think, I think Scarlet's a fan. <laughs> if not, then it should be. Yeah. All right, so what is your favorite holiday memory when you were a uh, 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 When I was a kid at my elementary school, we had something called like Polar Express Day. We'd like, like just do like Christmas stuff the whole day. We'd get like hot chocolate and all that. We'd watch Polar Express. It's like a little Christmas movie. It's actually kind of creepy, but it's a good movie. Right, but it's, it's a great yeah, movie. It's one, it's one of my favorite. And you got to have your hot chocolate with or without marshmallow? With marshmallows. 100%, always. Yeah. And There's we one. are at time. You did a great job. I only got one, but well, you got yeah. one's, one's enough. Better than none. Right? Exactly. Yeah. You can hang that one up and we'll be good to go. Yeah. All right. So now we're going to move over here. We've got our, uh, our team colored balloons. Red and blue. That's right. And we're going to see uh, how well you can do keeping the balloons up in the air. But we're going to keep them both up in the air That's for easy. a minute. Just, just going to oh, pop yeah. them up, keep them going. See, it says it's easy, but look at this. Ready? Go! Already, Greg is showing it how easy it is. <laughs> oh, see, look at that. See, it's, it's, it's always a little bit of a wrinkle. Hit me in the face. <laughs> That's it, it's trying to keep them controlled as the time's going by. I don't want to hit them too hard. Too easy with that one. So what was the what was your favorite speaking of the holidays? What was your favorite gift that you ever got? For, uh, I got an iPod in my uh one time my mom got me these shorts. Yeah. And it was like the last gift I opened and I really wanted an iPod. Yeah. I don't want no shorts. But <laughs> she put the iPod in the shorts, so uh, in the pockets. So I was see? like, oh wow. That's a cool little plot twist. That's nice. You gotta that, keep that's, things that's entertaining. The trick, right? Yep. And what are you looking for this year? What do you? What, what's your? What, what's your? The gift that you are hoping to get? If we have a game near Christmas, yeah, then a W. That's number one. Yeah, absolutely. Time. Well done. Excellent. Nice. I'm sure you're gonna get that W too. All right. So our next uh, challenge. It involves two Erie County Fair stables. Now, when you're in town for the summertime, do you ever get a chance to go to the I've fair? I've been to the fair before. Been yeah. to the fair? Yeah. So you've probably seen that they have the, the yeah. big Chavetta's. Chavetta's is out there. Man, yeah. always, for yeah. forever. 
for forever. They've they've been there. So we're gonna see. Uh, so the two uh, things at the fair, they have the Chevetta's chicken, and ring toss. So I gotta throw that. So we're gonna see. We're gonna have you stand over here on the end, and we're gonna see uh, how many times you can uh, put your ring right over our delicious uh, Chevetta's marinade. There. Okay. Ready? Go. Okay. Horrible. So you got to start. You got to get your range. When you get your range, I feel confident. See, there you go. We got one. Still got one. Man, this is embarrassing. I'm going to take home the big fluffy bear like that. <laughs> oh, oh, you robbed. This is why I don't play quarterback. <laughs> well, there you go. Man. Or basketball. <laughs> Yeah, now try to do it with with you running at you. <laughs> I know, right? Jeez. Got three with about 14 seconds to go. You're popping them in now. Give me a Thank few you. more. So we have four, three, there's one, two, one, last shot. Oh! Damn. Not bad. When did we get there? Oh, last. <laughs> Had to get Absolutely that last count. second yeah. one, right? We got about eight there. All right. Well done. We're going to mark that one down for a ring toss. Ring toss Hall of Fame. Eight yeah. rings. All right, great. You can stop quarterbacks. That's fine. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And I've been watching you do all this stuff. Now, a little head to head action, okay? okay. Let's Me do it. and you. Let's do it. Flip cup. Flip cup. All right, so we got our we got our cups. Have you done flip cup before? No. What's that? So over. So I think we do it like this, right? So what you do is you put the cup sort of right on the edge of the table, and then you have to take your finger and flip it and try to get it just like that. Okay. So you're gonna see. That's what we're gonna do. So we're, there you go. All okay. right. So it's not as easy as it looks, but we're gonna see how many times we can flip the cup head to head. Who's okay. gonna win this challenge? Ready, set. Go! Look at that, right off the bat. He's already, I'm losing one nothing. It's always good to get the lead right off the bat. Oh. Okay. Oh. Oh, two nothing. I'm falling behind. I've been practicing this for weeks, Craig. Really? Three nothing, I'm behind. Oh no. It's the pressure, it's getting to me. No. Oh. <laughs> can't do it. We got about 20 seconds. Time is running out. I still haven't even gotten my first one. Uh, can I count the one that I had when we were warming up? <laughs> you can count it. It's all right. <laughs> but my goodness, five you got. I can't even get one. Oh, look at this. Sorry about that. Nah, it's okay. I should be doing that to you. You should. <laughs> oh, now's my time. And time's up. Sure. Just when just when I have a chance to catch up. Five nothing. Well Good game. done. Good well game. done. Good game. Seth, professional. You, you, you know what it's yep. all about. You I practiced that. You got, you got the skills. Yep. I absolutely don't. All right. And lastly, we're come to the end almost. I said something about a blindfold. Yes, indeed. They're gonna put a blindfold on you. Okay. And what? And while so what? So what are we doing? Getting our. Uh... All right, got a blindfold ready, and our team's gonna be getting set up here, getting our table set up. All right. We're putting some items on here and using only your hands. This is interesting. Using hey. only your hands. You have to tell me what the items are. Okay. On the table. Okay. Okay, so ready? Go. So feel around there and see what we got there. Okay. Get your hands in there and get dirty. Don't worry, we have towels. <laughs> you can tell us what that is. Some type of salad? It is it is some it is a salad. Okay. Yeah. Is there other stuff? <laughs> oh good, yes, delicious. What is this? Is this it feels like a piece of chicken. Yeah. yeah. It's a wing. Yes, it is. It is a chicken wing. I feel the bones. <laughs> All right. And lastly, we got our plate there. Okay, we're feeling around. Good. This is a piece of bread. 
That is a piece of bread. There's like a something. Bun. There's a little a something bun. more there. You're gonna feel around there. Get dirty. Don't don't be afraid. Pulled pork. Yeah, or that is exactly brisket. pulled pork. He knows it. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, we are not going to make you eat any of these foods that you've been manhandling. <laughs> okay. But okay. Uh, you did a fantastic job. Nice. Well done. Appreciate All that. All right, great job. Oh wow. If I put my hand, I wouldn't know what this is, but put my hand in there. That's your blue cheese. Yeah, I know. There. But if I if I couldn't see it, I'd be like, <laughs> I mean, maybe. If I got the wing first, it'd be easy because context. Yeah. So. Now tell me, blue cheese or ranch? Blue cheese. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. The man, the man, the man is learning. It's not even learned close. Well. Yeah. Greg. That's it. That's time. You have completed the first ever Chevetta's 15 and 15 challenge. Yeah. We are so impressed with you and so thankful you were here to join us today. Sure. How do you How do you feel that you did today? How do you it was feel a lot of fun. I, I give myself a A minus. You feel me? I, so pretty good day. I'm gonna yeah. give you an A plus. Okay. You did, you okay. did fantastic. Yeah. I wish I got more of the hula hoop. Things. I, the hula hoop. I think yeah. you, you really impressed me. I didn't think yeah. you'd get any, and you, you really yeah. banged it out. <laughs> So on behalf of the whole Chevetta's team, we'd like to congratulate you on your success. For sure. And we are going to present you with the first ever this is what the trophy Chevetta's is for. 15 and 15 challenge trophy. There we go. The Appreciate golden that. chicken. For sure. It's going right in my room. That's right, right with all your other trophies, right in front of yep. them, because it's the best one. What is, it's the best one. <laughs> yeah. and, it's, and we appreciate you. For Greg, sure. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck with the rest of the season. Appreciate that. Yo, what's up? It's Greg Russo here from the Buffalo Bills. Make sure you enter the Chavetta's giveaway. And you'll have a chance to win all this stuff here, including a signed jersey. So make sure y'all go do that. It's on the website at chavetta's.com.